When I thought about creating a system like this, it was mostly self-serving. I've been making music for longer than I care to remember at this point, and I've made thousands of albums. So when I go into the studio, I know what this record sounds like. I know what this record should sound like in a car. We know where the listener is, we know where the speakers are, we know how it's going to sound when somebody sits in that spot. They can't sit anywhere else. So here was an opportunity, I thought, to give the listener a chance to hear what it really sounds like. And it's so impressive to the layperson that if you had a camera on them, you could see, you know, their mouths drop. You know, it's just so awe-inspiring to hear a piece of music you've heard before, or a new piece of music, but hear it come out that way with, you know, music from all around you. This is, to my knowledge, the only system where someone like myself teamed up with an electronics manufacturer and an automotive company to, uh, to create a system like this. They're so innovative and they're so ahead of their time on everything they do. It made sense that, you know, they would embrace surround technology, you know, something so brand new. In fact, they loved it so much, they put it in a couple other vehicles. So, you know, I guess it sounds weird to call it the L system, you know, and they call it the ELS system, but it, it's directly related to my name, you know, and uh, I'm very proud of that. You know, those are two corporate giants and me. And it's a creative thing that no other car company and no other electronics company has ever done. I encourage you guys to just jump in the car, experience what it's like to hear 5.1 in this automobile or any one of these automobiles and listen to a piece of music that was created in discrete surround sound to hear music the way we hear it in the studio. I think that this is the best system in automotive audio today. I don't think there's anything better than this.